Keeping up with life's demands. Keeping up with life's demands. So, if you think about it, um, life is a very, very demanding um, situation, for lack of a better word. But I can assure you that there are certain principles that we tend to ignore or not necessarily ignore but um, tend to take very light uh, when it comes to situations of life. There's a part that I'm just gonna read um, right here on the on the article I just wrote it um, this evening. Um, by the way it, it is 2019 it's February and today's date is the 26th. Whatever has expectations whatever gives sorry uh, whatever gives has expectations so life is something that is so amazing and god has given us this life so that we can be able to exercise it and grow in it and explore so many things and invent in it and um, do so much in it however life gives us the ability to pursue that which we want but for us to be able to get um, to the best or to the utmost um, of that which life is giving us, there's something that we need to give back to life. And part of my um, article, there's a part where I mentioned that we are our lives. And that's, that's the part I like to, to really talk about. We are our lives. You are your life. Whatever you expect from life, that means you're expecting from yourself. Whatever you demand from life, that means you're demanding it from yourself. You cannot be able to demand something from nowhere and not get it. When you expect yourself to live a certain type of life, that means you are expecting yourself, when you expect life, your life to be something amazing. That simply means you're expecting you to reach that goal you're expecting you to provide for yourself that type of a life a lot of people say every time i speak about life and or i speak about you as an individual or myself as an individual um, i'm alluding to pride i'm, I'm talking about um, self-centeredness things of that nature and of which that's not true one of the things that i've focused on that i've put my mind into that i've, I've projected my energy to focus on lately is that you can never be able to provide for the next person if you are not sorted. You can never be able to provide for your family or for whatever goal or dream you have in your life if you don't have the means to get to that. So it means you need to start by preparing you, yourself, so that you may be able to keep up with life. Uh, I mentioned that um, the Kardashians have got nothing on life life has got so much that it expects from us which means you are expecting something from yourself life has got so much to give which means you yourself have the enough resources to provide you to get to a point of being able to live the life that you want to live so it, it, it is imperative it is important that we understand as individuals that there is nothing that no one in this world will ever give to you unless you give yourself the opportunity to go get it or you give it to yourself. If you don't prepare yourself, you don't, if you don't um, 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 train yourself, if you don't align yourself, if you don't connect yourself with the right people, you will never get the opportunity to get somewhere. Even if you ask for an opportunity, even if you knock at the door and say to someone, look, I need this opportunity. I need you to trust me with this thing. I need you to trust me with your business. I need you to trust me with your life. I need you to trust me with your money. You need to give something to them or to that specific individual the assurance. You need to give them the confidence that you can trust me. And you can never be able to provide if you don't have anything to provide. You as an individual need to move from the place whereby you sit back, you relax, you wait for everything or anyone to come pass by or to say, hey, come, here's a job, here, come, here, here's something, you know. And I always say, if you don't 
appreciate life or respect the, the, the rules of life if you don't come to realize the importance of life and why you exist as an individual you might as well just die I know it's a bit harsh but it's the truth because you need to understand that if you don't prepare you if you don't align your mind if you don't align your thinking if you don't improve your way of doing things you'll never get where you want to go you might get what you want but you might not you might still not be able to maintain it or, or let it grow you need to fix you so that you can be able to keep up there are situations that we find ourselves in some of them we are responsible for them some of them we led ourselves in them it can be because of many things it can be because of our negligence it can be because of our uh, failure to pay attention to detail it can be, be so many things but you are responsible they do the flip side of things as well but which draws back to you as an individual there are situations in life events in life that as much as we have the power to say yes or no but they compel us to be in situ to be in a position whereby we don't even get to use yes or no it can be a criminal situation someone uh, can commit crime against you someone can hurt you you can find yourself in an accident lying in hospital with a disease that they don't even know the name of it and all of that but i still believe that in that very same situation only you have the power to look at your situation and say to your situation you've hurt me you you you've brought me anguish you've brought me pain but as much as i'm in pain as much as i've lost so much i refuse to stay in that pain i'm gonna go out there I'm gonna find me over and above the situation that is pressing me down, the situation that is making me to see as if it's hard for me to pick up from where I am, to rise again, to stand up, to be the person I was. I'll tell you one thing, those type of situations are the ones that can leave you with a scar in your life, that can cause you to find it hard to stand up again and be the same person that you were before. You'll never be the same. However, there is that inner part inside you that can give you what you need to survive. I read the Bible, so the Bible says there is nothing that comes to us before it passes by through God. So God evaluates it, checks it, and God weighs it against your strength, and God releases it to you to come to you because He knows that He's giving you everything you need to survive. You understand? So, in a nutshell, for you to be able to keep up with life, you need to admit that in life there are situations that you cannot change. In life there are situations that you can change. But over and above that, those situations should never, and you should never give them the opportunity to dictate you. You might lose someone in your life. You might get divorced. You might um, uh, be left hanging, be be bankrupt, be in, in whatever situation you find yourself in, there is a comeback. The comeback might not be as favorable as you want it to be, but it might be better than sitting and waiting for something, waiting for a miracle. We make our own miracles. We make our own destinations. We make our own path. We drive our lives. We push it where we want it to go. Whatever situation you may be, it can be a job situation, it can be a relationship situation, you might just realize that you, you are expecting a child, you might just realize that you're going to get retrenched, you might just realize that you're struggling with your studies, it can be anything. There is a comeback. And the first step to coming back to wherever you are, is admitting that certain things are beyond your strength, but there is a way out. It's admitting that, yes, I'm on my lowest, but how do I come out of this lowest? A lot of people deny their current situation. A lot of people refuse to admit their current situation. But how best can you be able to deal with your situation if you don't want to look at it into your eyes? There are certain situations that will cause you to cry when you face them. There are certain people in your life that you need to face but you know when you face them, they're gonna re revive the pain. They're gonna revive 
everything, every memory that you hate that you don't want to look at. Part of the article, there's a part where I speak about wisdom. Wisdom is something amazing. Wisdom is... It, it, I, I don't know how to explain it, but it, 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 it has its own rules. Wisdom favors no one. Wisdom favors those that favor themselves. Wisdom loves those that love themselves. Wisdom hates those that hate themselves. Wisdom can make you find your freedom. But wisdom can make you again put yourself into trouble. Wisdom forces you to be honest with yourself in everything you do. Life is not easy. Life demands wisdom. Wisdom is the only tool that you can use to be able to define who you are, honestly so. Wisdom will allow you to be a fake, to put a facade, to be someone else. Wisdom doesn't allow you to live a pretend, a pretending life. But wisdom allows you to be the best of you, organically, the way God has created you. Wisdom makes you love yourself more. Wisdom makes you appreciate your life. Keeping up with life is no child's play. But you can be able to survive every situation you come across. I have my own situations. Probably my situations are nothing compared to yours. But there is a way out. There is a comeback. There is a turning point in every difficult situation. As much as there's a turning point in good situations, seeing them turn bad, you find yourself asking yourself, but where did it all go wrong? How about you get to a point of asking yourself, where did it all go right? I strongly believe that there is that turning point in life in any situation you come across. And I don't want to lie to you and say after that turning point into good things, life is going to be easy flowing, always having that positive balance in your life, in your account. I can't promise you that. But what I can promise you, if you appreciate yourself so much and you give yourself time to study yourself and appreciate what you have and who you are, come what may in life you'll always be able to go to sleep with a smile. Yes, you'll come across difficult situations, but how you interpret them will determine how you go to sleep, whether with a smile or with a sad face. Careful of your surroundings, the people you spend time with. If you spend time with negative people, you'll never be able to recover from whatever pain you're going through. If you spend time with people that are always complaining, crying, blaming others. You'll never be able to realize your dream or your goal. Or you'll never be able to live your life to the fullest. Living your life full to the fullest doesn't mean having a million in your account. Joy is generated from within. Not from what you spend. Not from what you were. Not from what you drive. Not from the apartment you're living in but from within. Be a friend to yourself before you become a friend to others. Love yourself before you love others. How can you expect to love your children unconditionally if you cannot love yourself unconditionally? You see, people that don't love themselves unconditionally are the ones that will always count the things that they do for their children. Tell their children that I take you to school. I feed you. I give you everything. I expect you to respect me. Whose house are you in? Whose clothes are you wearing? But if you love yourself, and this is the level of growth I want to see myself go to, if you love yourself enough, you'll be able to transfer the same love to your children. The children will realize that over and above the allowance my parents give me, the cars they buy me, the food I eat. There's a genuine, there's an organic feel of fulfillment with everything that they do. 
I know families. I know people that will tell you that my mother didn't have everything, but she was enough for me. You understand? I know young people that grew up from rich families. Some of them are old now. You never hear them brag about what they have, but they brag about the love that their parents gave them. Keeping up with life is not an easy thing. However, there is a turning point somewhere. There is a turning point. I always make this analogy when I spoke to people when I was on stage. I'll say, I usually say to them, best opportunities in life don't come wearing suits. You need to work on them. You need to labor. You need to put your own signature on it, your own personal touch to your success. And I hope from this video, you would have learned something that will be a value add in your Check out more of my articles on www.inspiredwithkelly.co.za There's interesting stuff to read there. Share your comments as well. Remember, the you of today is currently more powerful than the you of yesterday. And the tomorrow you, yes, the tomorrow you, depends on the decisions you're going to make today with your life. God bless.